Good morning. Last time when I left you, I was trying to show some samples of uh, some enclosures and then see how well we start our design. Now, in this class and the subsequent classes, I will try to get down to a few details on how to fabricate something which will suit your purpose. So, I will start with my PPT presentations. Unlike a simple decision tree by which uh, you have a high level what you call highest level something here and after that you come down to the next level ok. Later on you branch out and then you have a decision here, decision here and then after that you have you know, so many of these things ok. Decisions here, decisions here and then decisions here and finally, one correct decision it is not as clear as that in our case. In our case what has happened is in case you are looking for a enclosure obviously, several aspects come into the picture and this is not a simple what do you call a matrix and then everything neatly fits into a small thing. So, if you start with for example, if it has a rounded form typically we call it organic, organic means not simple geometric and which can form any other thing versus a boxy structure. So, if you are to take a let us say your hard disk and such things no probably fall on this. Another important thing is in what are the quantities in which you make things mass produced could mean greater than numbers like this. Okay. Depending on how much of that extra cost can be amortized to the particular piece for the purposes of making things consistent, making of good quality and so on. Small batch could be usually something which runs less than just a, a figure I will put saying maybe less than a 100 pieces very easy for us to make things like that. Then another important thing we come about is should it be made out of a metallic meaning a last lecture I have talked to you about the basic aluminum and then I have talked to you about the basic uh, mild steel or do we go for loosely what we call plastic. The definition of plastic is something which does not have a sharp melting point. So, if somebody is talking about plastic bucket, it is a bucket made out of plastic material not a bucket which is plastic because it cannot hold water, it could be more like a water balloon. So, instead to avoid that now you use the word polymer something with which we make things and everything you see around is probably made out of some polymer or the other common I have told you about it again back in my materials lecture, we have usually modified versions of ABS and then polycarbonate and then few other materials. And then very important somehow it is a lot related to this is the cost of tooling. If it is a general purpose we mean here is as in a job shop. a small workshop somebody who can take a job for you or specific to a particular how to tell uh, an item. So, if you take uh, complicated things you see here this is a I do not know what this monster is I found it in my car and then somebody suggested probably it is uh, something to hold your uh, what do you call GPS or something else and all that. This is a mass produced item, it is made in uh, <laughs> not lakhs, millions and then sold all over the place. As compared to a small tray here for some purpose I needed this tray, actually it was meant for a mounting uh, for a blower uh, to be kept inside. So, you see here a very peculiar uh, you know detailing is there. So, we have this issue is this can be made in a general purpose job shop while this needs to be 
fully made a specialty tool has to be made and then they also need to make it a little universal. So, that parts of it no if you want we can mount it in one way we can mount it and then this can be used for other items. Now, we come to something which is between the two this can probably made in a job shop or if the quantities are very high we can probably make a proper blanking and full transfer line. So, this one is a mounting plate uh, probably for a fan cabin fan you can mount it on the wall or you can mount it on the ceiling. So, lot of work and lot of effort has gone into making tooling for this. So, that in a economical way we can uh, produce these things. Now, coming back to the slide again the purpose may be just to prototype to show people that a completely enclosed working prototype can, uh, can be made and uh, you know generally to make people understand what it is otherwise or it can be a production prototype a production prototype is saying it is almost ready you pass it down the line and then somebody will try to manufacture these items. And another is the purpose of making this prototype is it only a proof of technology if it is a proof of technology we are not really interested in the other what you call aesthetic and uh, other aspects of it neither about recycling and all that we would like to show people our own colleagues that uh, this particular technology works. So, it could be your GPS it could be child tracker it could be I will say you know find my things where I am lost or anything no this is typically working prototype and proof of technology other is to make batch products. In the case of batch products the purpose is to not just technology we would like to make a first batch of products which can be given to a small group to see whether we can we need to scale up such things. So, some of you may have heard about uh, that concept called uh, it is actually a marketing uh, concept saying how do you start from some early adopters who come into the mass produce thing saying how to bridge the gap which I uh, will come back to it later. Then another is if it is a prototype and the purpose and the thing is only a concept in concept again no it can be a technical demonstration or it can be design features we need to talk about. So, in these conditions we need to think of how to produce these parts. So, this lecture and the continuing lecture uh, will probably I mean help you understand. So, whether you are in a small company or you are in a you are a student or a hobbyist I expect it will be of use to you. So, the next slide shows the slide which I had shown you previously this is a small prototype to demonstrate the technical feasibility of uh, using some what do you call this uh, pyrotechnic uh, infrared sensors and then can we use this you see this itself is a sensor I have a sensor here I have a sensor here I have two sensors like this I have two sensors like this. This coupled with a small device here which can move make a meaning I can make an adjustment. So, if I mount it somewhere and make it move up and down can I use it for certain types of estimation direction of motion and all that. It is not the routine uh, what do you call CCTV cameras type we have this one is used for some other uh, you know advanced uh, thing. So, the next slide shows you same thing put on a table why I keep repeating that slide is so that you will know what it is if you see if you see the the way they have been arranged this is a standard IP 66 enclosure. Index of protection 5666 and using this uh, enclosure some openings have been made here all these items are mounted on this. So, this can continue to be left in a harsher environment saying we try to keep it in the in the field. So, that uh, people can 
observe certain things. The same thing when the experiments are all carried out in the what do you call it our lab this really does not conform to this ok. This is probably at best. So, the water and uh, solid contamination thing is a little lower, but you see here the in, in a essence both the things are same except that this is made out of ABS this is made out of aluminum both are mass produced relatively easy for us to make all these things. And if you see the critical components here is we have a Fresnel lens here this Fresnel lens is probably molded molded and uh, we buy it along with it. <laughs> this is one type of a Fresnel lens which has a spherical or uh, something no, which uh, coincide this one is something which will which is a panoramic uh, this thing sideways it is more. So, these housings for this this is made using rapid prototyping or we call it no in our case fused deposit mod fused uh, filament deposit modeling ok. Both of them used otherwise loosely I will call it RPT. Now, cannot we make the whole box yes we can make the whole box there are issues there in that this particular rapid prototyping cannot directly replace injection molding contrary to what we think it cannot directly re replace it. Certain things where we need these features and all that no rapid prototyping is required and other extreme coming back to the previous slide let us say I come here suppose I just wanted to do only a proof of technology and a technical demo I need not have even spent the effort in buying this box and all that this whole thing can even be assembled using polystyrene sheets. The thing is the effort is so much and it is not easily duplicatable you cannot scale it up you cannot make let us say 50 or 100 numbers in such cases much easier to go for a standard enclosure. So, if you see here this is where now for example, in small batch simple proof of tech those things we need to select this as you said no the first title if you remember I started with this beautiful title of saying it is not an automatic decision that uh, you come to one example or the other you take a good call on availability and then deliberately have it avoided availability as well as cost. So, because generally if you if you are in a field you are likely to stock all these items. So, in our case we have this Fresnel lenses and then we also have this flat cables and uh, we know how to make these uh, what do you call <laughs> uh, small prototype uh, items and then we are all geared up to make all these things. Now, I would like to progress to a little biomedical things from here onwards I would like to show something uh, please bear with me that uh, as examples I try to show things which are likely to come across this I think you would have seen it it is nothing but a blood pressure monitor. Uh, I would like to acknowledge that it has been taken from their uh, website either from the manufacturer the OEM or probably the online uh, traders uh, and since it is a, a class which uh, you know is uh, for you to students to understand all this I am not violating any IPR neither I am duplicate any of this automatically. So, you can probably purchase the items and then you can take a call. Coming back to the other slide I do not even know what it is all I know is there are something some something some 6 numbers to rotate and then I have some connector here and then I have something here one power on off switch there is something here and so on like that. I, I do not know what exactly the equipment is, but why I have picked it up you see this form even if you are to make a small number you have to spend a tremendous amount of effort 
these things you know probably can be made starting with a rapid prototyping or you start with a polymer material typically you have a glass filled nylon and uh, other materials by which you know you scrape it as if you are a sculptor. So, coming back to my first slide again it may be a design concept for all I know this may be just a design concept. So, if I go back to the here it is a proof of concept it is explaining to me what are all the design features saying how do I hold the knobs and uh, how do I how do I use the equipment how convenient it is we have a master gain probably and then we have some channels oh, and then there are some various options of uh, how to add uh, that there is a display and all that this of course, is taken from an actual equipment. So, if you are to demonstrate something this as a concept as a design concept you can make it uh, this way you can probably some of these items can be locally purchased maybe these are all purchased, but you see the color key there is a key here and then you see the way it is how convenient to handle and then we have a pointer here and then they have these channels and then you see it has a very what could be otherwise a somewhat squarish box with rounded edges. Hmm? It is basically it looks like just a box it is flat cut at an angle so that you can see the view and then corners are rounded it is easier in one way. Now, if the equipment is a special equipment and uh, you can probably effort to make uh, some things more we have this it could be as I said earlier no just can be a just a proof of concept equipment. Most likely in our field uh, that is our basic electronics you may be working with such uh, items in this case this is off the shelf molded case. we need to only fabricate a front panel. Looking at it, it looks as if this could be a power uh, unit, it may be a place for a power thing. So, in our convention we have this as the usual no earth and uh, we have the line and neutral or it may not be that at all. Thing is this whole panel can be removed and you can put something on top of it. And in this case basically it is flat and it is one or two pieces you can probably go to a job shop or in case uh, you are a curious person you can even fabricate this panel in your own hand you can just go about and uh, you know start making it not very difficult for us. Ah, now, you see here slowly we are getting into little more complicated sheet metal parts this is fairly standardized and uh, this is called actually a rack and in this rack if you see it has all this well known equipment we have plus it is a lock there is a glass uh, what do you call opening here and then there is a something which will you know share all the cables and then uh, we have a I, I do not know what it is most likely it is a modem this is probably one modem or it is a some bandwidth monitor we have all these things all put in a box both options are there depending on how expensive how one off items it is one of them is you can buy it off the shelf ok or you can order something to these dimensions and buy it. So, in case uh, you really want a professional equipment and then you need to get it quickly into the market and uh, few numbers most likely it is easy to buy directly go to these uh, big uh, enclosure manufacturers and something which about suits your uh, purpose is already available online. You can go inspect it and then get a few things 
and you need not worry too much about how to fabricate or how to design things. Coming back to our slides, you will notice here that things like this, no, these mounting holes and all are fixed. Very peculiarly, it comes to 44.45 pitch. It has come from uh, you know some one and a quarter inch plus half inch, so one and three quarter inch and comes to all this. You do not worry too much about it, except when there is a space constraint, we have uh, these small things you know meant for one u, 2 u, 3 u, all these are rack mounted components are available and the rack itself is available. And the main advantage for it is there are alternate vendors for it. You need not get caught saying in case there is a capacity constraint or if you want to scale it up suddenly, you need not worry too much about buying so many of them more. Now, I will come back to some very routine thing which we see <laughs> all the time. So, if I tell you about the whole thing now, does it form a simple geometric? geometric shape or does it have this? This is what I meant by organic shape. In the case of an organic shape, you see here it will it is a lot like uh, any of the what you call um, living things you find here uh, more than uh, living some things which follow uh, nature. Nature would not be obviously no nature may not have this no, but nature has all these things and you see here they have played around a little instead of making them very very smooth and all that no giving it a few sharp uh, edges and all that suddenly makes it into what could be a gaming device because we are used to it. We, we expect we, uh, uh, these uh, items and all to have a certain semiotic about it saying what they mean to the other people. At this point, I would like to bring you back to the good old boxy structures. So, if you see things like this, no, I have a, a I do not know what it is, it is something, 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 it is probably something which has a power equipment and then you have a voltage here and then uh, no, we have some regulator to be used for something else. You have seen that, no, basically it is like a box and then you have a beautiful wall mounted a power equipment, it could be an inverter, it could be a power conditioner, or it could be a lift uh, what you call a saving a mechanism. All our lifts have a small mechanism now, which are <laughs> in case the power fails, you need not worry about that lift slows down, but goes to the next uh, floor and stops there. So, some of them are a small box like this, which has a, some batteries outside and then uh, normally if your motors run on 50 hertz and uh, 230 volts or uh, 400 volts, that 50 hertz is reduced to probably 10 hertz or uh, if you divide it to 12 and a half hertz and then correspondingly lower voltage instead of 400 volts it will come to 100 volts and then it moves slowly and the whole thing invariably has a boxy structure like this, it could be something. Now, if you look a little closer. It is nothing but you have a part one here, you have something you know, the front and back are here, they have back part and then you have the front part. Similarly, you have sheet metal parts which are very, very simple, you have seen this you no, know, very simple sheet metal part and then you have a little bigger uh, part for you know cables and all that. Now, if you were to make the same thing in large quantities, you see here very, very interesting notching has been given here and then a flange has been given here. These are all made with tools, maybe in a job shop, maybe anything. So, I will just try to get back to you and show you what I have here. So, I have here, I will now remove this item and then I will show you this. Do you remember this? I brought it in the other class. This is relatively easy to make. All it needs is you take a flat sheet, mark it out, bend it and then maybe drill a <laughs> few holes here, seen this no, good. 
it works and easy to make and then you can make it in your lab or your workshop or anything. At this point, I would like to bring you here to a blank page because it is going to be a practical thing. If you have to take a flat sheet, hmm, a strip, you have to make it a strip and then try to bend it. You see here one thing I would like to point out is one of them is a little thick, it is a 2 mm aluminum sheet. This one is a little thin, it may be 1.2 mm aluminum sheet. If I take that aluminum sheet and bend it, 